everyone's doing great on this sunny afternoon today we're traveling to Prince Edward County it's a small community not too far from Toronto it's famous for its uh, great artistic scene with galleries antique stores and festivals in a couple of days uh, just a little weekend getaway we're gonna explore some of these things and share them with you We are starting our exploration with a gallery located in the heart of the wine country, Oeno Gallery. At the time of our visit, there was an exhibition of Canadian artist Mili Risvet. In 1969, Mili took a road trip from Toronto to Montreal. She sat alone in the back seat, observing angular and elongated shapes of the new highway and the blurred landscapes. She took the memory of forms and mostly cool colors of overcast day and began creating her highway paintings. The gallery has represented and exhibited original mid-career and senior Canadian artists who have received international recognition for their talent. We're exploring Oana Gallery and are about to go see the sculpture garden that has outdoor sculptures made of different materials and that are supposed to withstand harsh weather conditions. Uh, and funny enough, the name um, of the gallery Oeno comes from the name of Greek goddess that turns everything into wine because we're actually located on the Hub Estate winery. This outdoor exhibition was opened in 2011 and since then has hosted unique large-scale artwork. Located on four acres of winding paths, the garden is surrounded by vineyards of Half Estate Winery, groves of maple, herbal and rose garden. Oeno Sculpture Garden represents works of over 60 artists. They work in glass, bronze, steel, granite, wood, fiberglass and resin and create unique contemporary, abstract and figurative outdoor works of art. The exhibition opens in May and the gallery hosts their annual garden party in July to celebrate the artists. That is actually a replica from a famous Crystal Palace building uh, that was made for national exhibition in London. After that exhibition, this type of structures became very famous around North America and several replicas were created. But this one is actually the only one left standing these days. You like the Crystal Palace? I really like it. It's, uh, it's, it's metal and glass structure that looks like crystal. Prince Edward County is renowned for its many antique stores where you can find a wide variety of furniture, china, home decor, 
collectibles and other vintage items. We managed to find ourselves beautiful silver spoons of really good quality and unique design. The names of these stores are funny and memorable. Dead People's Stuff, Red Respective, Memory Factory. You have to give it to them. They do play the old stuff metaphor really well. Some places are very clean and touristy looking. Others have so much stuff, I'm not really sure how they keep track of it. If you want to decorate your home, restaurant or event space with unique items, there's a really good chance you might find something in one of these stores. One more gallery that we had a chance to visit is called Two Gallery, located on the main street in Picton. The gallery features contemporary and historical Canadian fine art and has regular exhibitions. One of the exhibitions had a gala opening and we were lucky enough to catch it. <laughs> 